It's not just the job making you unhappy. Hey, I am Chuck the Bureaucrat, and this is the time of year when thousands of unsuspecting military officers find themselves unceremoniously chained to a desk up at headquarters. And I'm probably not telling you anything that you don't know, but most of them don't like it. Not only is it not really what they expected for their careers, but at the same time, they start to experience an unpleasant, gloppy mix of despondency and aches and pains. Well, it turns out that the problem is not exactly the job, but the location where the job is performed. Number one, wherever you came from, you probably got a lot of sunshine. You're tan, fit, good looking, and getting plenty of natural vitamin D. But now you got that basement desk job, so no sunshine for you. And that also means no feel good sunshine chemicals. You wanna beat the blues? <sighs> Get outside, take a multivitamin. Heck, you might even think about tanning. I mean, I wouldn't, but maybe you would. These next two things, well, they are part and parcel with a desk job and trust me, they suck. You see, whenever you were doing whatever you were doing before they chained you to that desk, well, you were picking up heavy things and you were walking around a lot. And look, I have never been the kind of person who lifted per se, but I certainly have experienced that primordial feeling of grog lift heavy rock, grog feel good. You bust your butt cleaning out the Connex or organizing Charlie Bay and you just feel good. Being a desk jockey, well, there's just not that much heavy stuff to pick up and you, you gotta go looking for something. If you don't, well then, do not be surprised if you start to feel a little bit flabby and a little blah. Oh, and this next one, it is totally counterintuitive, but I'm telling you, if you do not address it, you're gonna feel crippled. Sitting at a desk can do more damage than going on some ruck run. Now don't get me wrong, those stupid ruck runs with boots, they will damage your knees because they damage your knees. But that Herman Miller Aeron chair, well, it causes the stabilizing muscles in your knees to wither away. Your hamstrings shorten and your knees erode as you sit. And then you sling on a rock and you damage yourself with a capital dam. So congratulations on your latest promotion and your new assignment, but do not be surprised if you start to feel inexplicably sad, increasingly fatigued, and that it hurts to walk. Take the obvious actions to protect yourself. And by the way, if the dude next to you hasn't gotten the memo, eh, you might want to clue him in too. After all, we need you at that desk doing whatever hard work your bosses have for you for as long as you can possibly do it. So stay fit. And if you want to understand some of those cranky old timers around you, watch this video.